It's only half past five in the morning, but I noticed my eyes are a little bit red where it's supposed to be white, and I found blood in my handkerchief this morning. Um, and Sophie says this is quite common. She had that on um, Everest too. It's a side effect of the altitude. Sophie, what are the three things that once you remember when hiking in mountains? Hmm. Okay, the first I would say is you should always be doing a constant body scan to see if anything feels off. You want to catch that stuff early and it's totally on you. No one else is going to be able to know what you feel. Um, and that's how you won't get frostbite and things like that later. Uh, the second thing would be to rest about once an hour for about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. It's good to just sit down, take a break and eat and drink during those times um, to remain fueled up. And then third, oh, what was my third? Third, <laughs> third could be don't let yourself get too cold, but that obviously only applies if you're in really cold conditions, because once your body gets cold, it takes a lot more energy to get it warmed up again. Right, we're about to start with Pin Parvati Pans. I've got a kilo of nuts, a kilo of oats for myself, one coconut, some dried apricots, some milk powder, and a jar of coconut oil that I can put on my skin and uh, eat if I have to. So there's a little bit of milk powder. We've got some tsampa, which is roasted barley flour. I think half a kilo. Someone gave it to us. Kilo of chapati flour, kilo of dal, and 300 gram of coconut flour, and some dates. I hope this is enough for seven, eight days. That's a shared dinner, and these are my breakfast. We only, we only eat twice a day. <laughs> This is our view from the window. Snow. And the local lady here says we cannot go. Too late in the season. <laughs> what do you think, Sophie? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'd like to talk to some more people about a forecast. But I, I honestly just have no information. I'd be making up an answer. I, we don't know the weather. We don't know the conditions there. Um, yeah, just a lot we don't know. Let's hope it clears up. Yeah, well, we tried anyway. We call this an expedition for good reason. <laughs> there is mud. Who knows when we see that again? Maybe in a few days, maybe never.
it's looking a little bit hostile up that way. We heard some thunder in the distance. Probably a lot more snow on that Fin Parvati Pass. Very different from last week. There is our little tent in the left side corner. Today is our first sampa day. We've got given some sampa, which is roasty ba roasted barley flour from um, a local. We add some water and some milk powder. And it's a little bit on the dry side. I add some more, and it will be our dinner. <laughs> right. We are warm and we are safe. We are in a cocoon here in the tent. It feels like it's minus five out there, Celsius. Um, and we've got two guard dogs and they're barking every now and then. Don't know why. And um, yeah, we're safe. Can't say we ever get a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a bit of a bleak spot right here. Um, there's thunder up the valley, that's the um, Bin Parvati Pass. I'm not sure if we're going to make it. The locals said we were um, walking into loads of snow, it's very dangerous. And we said to each other, well, at least we're going to have a try. How do you feel, Sophie? I'm just glad I'm warm now. And, um... <laughs> yeah. Good night. <laughs> it's not six o'clock yet. We're gonna go to sleep, have some good rest, see what tomorrow brings. Oh, I see him! Holy shit! Is he a wolf? Oh my god, it, it's or moving. A dog. No, it's, that's a wolf. I don't know. It's moving so. His back legs are moving weird. That wolf has been hanging around all night. Oh my god, that's what they were barking at? Yeah. This is the terrain sometimes, you have to find your own way over the rocks. I'm using my stick a lot, on balance. Uh, I usually have two sticks when I'm not carrying a, a camera. <laughs> and that feels like I have four legs. It's amazing how much grip you have on rocks. Uh, I'm not afraid I'll slide off, unless the rocks are in the, uh, in the river and it's slippery. And there in the snow is Pin Pravati Pass. It looks like a ski slope from here. Yeah. Well, it's the 1st of October and it's already winter here. We are in the Pin Valley. And right now I'm looking at the Pin Parvati Pass. I believe 5,316 meters. <laughs> and it's covered in snow and we don't have the gear. To deal with avalanches, crevasses, we don't have ice axes, crampons and ropes because our pack would be much more heavy if that was the case. So we decided to go back down. Plus that Sophie's got a little hip problem and she doesn't want to um, burden that any further. So we go down today and we found another pass, probably a hunter pass, which is a little bit lower. I am a little bit sorry though because I'm feeling pretty good physically, well adjusted to the heights, well fed. I was pretty keen, I must say, but yeah, I don't want to risk my life either. So that's it. That's the story.
and there is mud. And here in the Himalaya, it doesn't feel like the human world and the wilderness is two separate things. It feels that these humans here, the people here, completely blend into the landscape seamlessly. Thank you.